Today we are going to be finding equivalent fractions and decimals. Equivalent decimals are decimals that name the same amount. Um, so in order to do this, we're going to review our multiplying by tens, hundreds, and thousands. So 4 times 10, I could work the whole thing out, or I could take our 4, because 1... 1 times 4 is 4, and I can add 1 0 because I'm multiplying with 1 0, which gives me 40. Uh, with 50 times 10, I can do the same thing. 1 times 5 is 5, and then I have 1, 2 zeros, so I'm going to put in 2 zeros. Here we have 10 times 10, well, once again, 1 times 1 is 1, and we have 1, 2 zeros, so that gives us 100. When we're multiplying by 10, all we're doing is adding a 0. On our next slide here, we're going to review making equivalent fractions. So I have the fraction 2 fourths. And 2 fourths is going to be equal to 2 fourths. Now, I can either multiply or I can divide to create an equivalent fraction. In this case, I am going to multiply. And I'm going to times this by, I can choose any number as long as I multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the same thing. So I'm going to pick 2. It's nice and simple. And I have to do what I do to the numerator, I have to do to the denominator. That is then going to equal 2 times 2 is going to be 4. And 4 times 2 is going to be 8. 4 eighths. 4 eighths is an equivalent fraction to our 2 fourths. Now, the other way I can do it is I can divide. So I'm going to take my 4 tenths here, and I'm going to create an equivalent fraction by dividing. So I'm going to say 4 tenths is equal to, and I'm going to draw out a long line so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. And I have my 4 tenths. And I'm going to divide them. In this case, I'm, I'm just going to divide by 2. So we're going to divide by 2. And that is going to equal... 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 2 fifths. So 2 fifths here is an equivalent fraction to 4 tenths. Well, here we have 4 eighths is an equivalent fraction to 2 fourths. This comes in handy when we're trying to find equivalent fractions or equivalent decimals also. Okay, so here we're going to take these equivalent fractions, or these fractions, we're going to create equivalent fractions in either 10 with tenths or hundredths. So in this case here, our first one is 7 tenths. So what we're going to do is we are going to multiply our 7 tenths by 10. And that is going to give us our answer, our hundredths. Oh, I didn't get my multiplication sign in there. Um, so 7 times 10 is going to give us 70 and 10 times 10 is going to give us 100. Now we know that because from what we've learned earlier when we multiply tens, hundreds, and thousands is we're multiplying our 1 times our 1 which gives us 1 and our 0 and our 0 we have two zeros so we're adding our two zeros here. Here we have 1 times 7 is 7 with one zero there. Okay, so our next one here, we have 3 tenths, and so once again, 
three tenths to get to a hundred. When I multiply by ten, all I'm doing is adding a zero. So without even writing this section right here, I don't have to write all that. All I have to do is know that when I'm multiplying a zero, I add, or multiplying by ten, I add a zero to each part of my fraction. So uh, to the numerator and to the denominator when I'm multiplying by ten. So that is going to give me 30 one hundredths. Over here we have 80 one hundredths. And this time we're going to go down. We're going to divide this and try and get it to tenths. So I can write my 80, 80, Oh, not times. Here we're going to be dividing. Divided by 10 over our 100 divided by 10, which is going to give me 80 divided by 10 is 8. And 100 divided by 10 is 10, so 8 tenths. Now, I could solve that just as easy by saying 80 divided by 10. 10 has one zero, so we're going to take out one zero there and one zero off the 80. And then 10, 10, we can take away one zero and take away another zero there because of the 10 there. And that gives us 8 tenths. So using that, now we're going to solve this last one here. And so knowing that anytime we're dividing by 10, we're taking away a zero from each side of our fraction, numerator and denominator, we're going to divide 20 one hundredths by 10. So we're going to take away one zero there and one zero there, and that is going to give us two tenths. Twenty one hundredths is the same as two tenths. Okay, these ones down below here, we're going to look at our hundreds chart. Here, or our not hundreds chart, our place value chart. And notice our place value chart, we have thousands, hundreds, tens, ones, decimal point, tenths, and hundredths. Now, our first one here, we have 0 0.4. Now, because our decimal point is here, we know that our 4 is in the tenths position. We want to make it hundredths. So what we're going to do here, because we want to show hundredths here, is all we're going to do is, I'm going to actually put it in here, 0.4, okay? All we have to do here now is because we want us to go back here, we can't put a zero for there, so we're going to put a zero here. So our point 0.4 is equal to 0 0.40, and that is showing our hundredths. I'm going to go ahead and erase that now. Okay, on our next one here, we have... 0 0.6. So we're going to have our 0 0.6. That's tenths. We want hundredths. And since we don't have anything in the hundredths place, we are going to put a 0 there so it makes it in our hundredths place. So, so 0 0.6 is equal to 0 0.60. Or 66 tenths is equal to 60 one hundredths. On this next one here, we have 0 0.90. We're going to take our 0 0.90, and this time we are going to make it our tenths. We only want to show tenths here. How many tenths is 0 0.90? Well, if we wrote it in our chart here, we would have our point here. We would have our 9, we would have our 0. So in this case, we're only looking at tenths, so we're looking that direction. How many tenths is that? We have 0 0.9, or 
or 9 tenths. So because we have 9 tenths, we are going to write in here 0 0.9. We're just dropping the 0 because we're dividing it. We're taking out the 10, so we're taking out a 0. Uh, because if we were to write this as a fraction, it would be... Ah, wrong number. It would be 90 one hundredths. And we would want to take away one of the zeros and one of the zeros there to make 9 tenths. And so we have it as 9 tenths, 0 0.9. Down here, we're going to do the same thing. In this case, our tenths, in our tenths position is a 1, so it is going to be 0 0.1. We don't need to put the other zero on there because the other zero would make it hundredths. And that is how we find or create equivalent fractions and decimals.